this is do it yourself with trees or DYI with T. Um, I got inspired and wanted to create my own custom lampshade from an ordinary lampshade. So what I did, some of it was trial by error, so I'd like to share that with you. What you need to start with is obviously a lampshade. It needs to be the bell shape style because a lot of lampshades that aren't do not have a metal support running up and down from the top to the bottom. So that's critical because you want to be able to still have these two pieces supported. So look for that when you're shopping for your lampshade. Um, what I did then to help remove the shade, most lampshades are held on by glue and it can be a really strong glue. So I like to use a product called Undo or you can use another liquid adhesive remover and I just simply kind of soaked that on there. And if you've not worked with this product before, it's awesome because it'll come, it'll loosen that adhesive very quickly. So I can do that on the top and the bottom. And I'm using a fair amount, it's getting soaked. I know you probably can't see that, but it's pretty wet. All right, this is, product is also really good for those price stickers on your picture frames that are hard to get off. This works really good for that too. Okay, so now I am pretty much just cutting the interior and then peeling this off. It's not a pretty, pretty thing to do, but it'll be pretty when we're done. Okay. Um, the other thing that we'll be using is I picked some ribbons that coordinate it with the colors in my kitchen. So, um, you know, you might want this lampshade to go um, as a nightstand in your bedroom or a children's room or, um, you know, something like that. But it's nice because then you can choose the colors that work for that room. And I'm working with a smaller lampshade here, but they come in different sizes. Let me get my workout today. So you can play around with the different sizes. All right, almost got it. In fact, I'm going to use a little more of this, and I think that'll help. Okay. Now I have that all off. Or so I thought. Okay. There. So now, this is what it looks like. There's a little glue residue on there, but you can work that off. And then what you're going to do is take just variations of ribbon, um, lace, whatever you want to kind of use on your shade. Um, pick colors, like I said earlier, that coordinate um, with the room that you want it to go in. And then you're cutting your ribbon a little longer than your shade. So you can measure one piece and then I would cut several pieces right away all to the same size. So that way you can just begin your tying and you don't have to stop and cut um, each piece individually. So get them all cut and then you simply tie them from the top to the bottom. And you're going to repeat this with all the different ribbons that you have. And it works out pretty good. Once I finished going all the way around, I cut these little ends off and I kind of hot glued them down into the shade a little bit. And I used a little decorative um, rosette um, ribbon and I just went around the top. And it just gave a little finished look to the top of the lampshade. And then I just cut the um, little fringes at the bottom um, and 
that just left that little fringe there. If you'd like, you could trim that off too, um, just to get more of a finished edge. But um, have fun by doing it yourself.